Uh, we had a very serious question from uh, one sister, Sister Ruqayya, who called from Bahrain. She almost made me cry last time. Uh, she says, yeah, Sheikh Yusuf, that her non-Muslim mother has died, and she was wondering if she can make dua for her. And uh, the sister herself is a new revert. Meanwhile, she has still her children, uh, perhaps in the custody of the father, they are non-Muslims as well. So this is a situation which I believe you will handle better. You said she made you cry with this. Actually, I have to tell you, uh, <laughs> I did cry for my own mother. When my mother passed away, she refused to accept Islam, mm. clearly refused. And when uh, I first called her to Islam, she was agreeing with everything until she got back with my siblings and they mm. put the pressure on her, you're an old lady, you don't need to change your religion. Later she told me, don't ever talk to me about religion again. And before she passed away, the hospice keeper, the one who comes to the house and checks on her, you know, said, is there anything bothering you? She meant physically or whatever. Mm. My mother said, yeah, my son became a Muslim. Oh, la And the last time I talked to her, I said, Mom, God is one, right? She said, yes. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, all one. I'm like, oh, yeah, here we go. Not a chance. And uh, so I tried to find some kind of consolation in Islam for this because at that time I'd been Muslim about 10 years. And it was, it was too much to really bear. And I can really feel for the one who's going through this. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the shayukh, well, they'll just, you, you say, can I pray for my mom? She died, she wasn't a Muslim. They come down like real heavy to add more pressure on top. The mm. fact that you already hurt, mm. and they say, Abraham couldn't pay, pray for his own father. Noah couldn't pray for his own son. Prophet Sallallahu couldn't pray for Abu Talib, whom he loved very much. No, you can't. Next question. Ah. Ah. You're devastating him. It's kind of like when you tell a sister, if you don't wear hijab, you can't be a Muslim. Oh, that's all I got to do? Take off that? Oh, good. Thank you. Goodbye. You know, and uh, obviously that's not the way to go. What I would like to do, first of all, sister, it's up to Allah, not you and me. If there was anybody, anybody who didn't hear the message of Islam, remember Allah is just, Allah is fair. He will be fair with that person. Do not despair of Allah, no matter what. If a person goes to hell, it is because Allah knows what was inside of them and they earned it on their own. It's not from Allah. Second of all, if there's a weight of good in that person, they didn't know the message, didn't understand it, maybe some uh, mental uh, capacity that they don't have, remember Allah is fair, Allah is just, and He will make you happy in the paradise. You have accepted Islam. That's the best and foremost thing for you to do. And I'm, I'm sure, I'm positive that uh, you'll find that this is all going to be just fine. So do relax. But let's focus on the living. You have children and you want to set a good example for them and encourage them about the good things about Islam, the moral things in Islam, the righteous things about Islam. And take it easy on this subject of those that have passed. They have already died. And whether or not you make du'a for somebody really is, that's your benefit anyway. So why don't you make du'a for all of us who are working, that are alive, trying to get the message out. And we join you in that, and we ask Allah to make it easy for you, sister. As you and I, we have learned and always tried our best to be specific. Uh, we want to deliver also an answer to her with regards to can she make dua for her. No, we but, said no. Okay, yeah, exactly. So, but meanwhile, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most just. And we spoke last episode about people who did not hear the message or have heard it in a negative way, like those who are sitting all day long just watching Fox News or Seven Hunt Club. Don't give so them free <laughs> advertising. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give us any. That's actually a warning. So what happens, I believe these people have been misinformed about the deen. So their matter is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have, will design a special test for them on the day That's of judgment. True. It doesn't mean that uh, because they have been misinformed or they were not informed at all, they will just go to heaven straight. But they will be tested on the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best who will be rightly guided and who will go uh, astray. But as far as your children who are still uh, non-Muslims, uh, 
uh, as I prayed for them last time and also we repeat once again. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them and bring Amen. them to the falls of Islam. Thank That's you. Beautiful.